Do you really miss playing with the Lakers? That's a very good question. Who said I miss playing with the Lakers? Do you miss playing with the Lakers? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm asking, um, do you really miss playing with the LA Lakers? Do you miss playing with them? Do I, do I really miss playing with them? Because, you know, they're a good team, you know? I know they've they've been a great team, but you know I I'm I feel like this. I, I had my opportunity to uh, to do well and and play in the NBA and play for a great franchise like the Lakers. And uh, you know now that it's not happening, uh, you know I'm not uh, upset about it. Everybody gets their their uh, their few moments on the stage. I did a great uh, thing with my few moments on the stage, and I'm satisfied with that. Terrific. Thank you, Kareem. Probably time for one, maybe two more questions here in the warm sun. I see a gentleman back here in a blue shirt. Uh... Thank you. Oh. Is it on? It was working. There you go. There we go. Thank you. I agree. Uh, of your uh, long, long career in the NBA, what was the most rewarding? Of, uh, of all your accomplishments, of, uh, of, of your entire tenure in the NBA, what was the one thing that stands out in your mind? Well, I, I think in terms of uh, what the game was all about and my accomplishments in the game, uh, beating the Boston Celtics in 1985, that, you know, the first time that the Lakers did that, that was, uh, that was very satisfying. You know, we had just lost the year before, we lost in the finals to them and gave a game away, and uh, lost that uh, lost that series in seven games. So, coming back and beating them in 1985 uh, really was very satisfying. I just remember that summer, summer of '85. People uh, all summer we we enjoyed that <laughs> until the next season started. Notice the big smile on Kareem's face. Uh, time for one more question from the audience. Do we have a hand? Uh, uh, there's a gentleman right here in the front, maybe Steve. Okay. He's been very patient. Has a good-looking young man with him there. Uh, thank you. His name's Cassius. <laughs> um, so, Green, what question for you? Sorry about that. Um, what did you get your degree in, and why did you choose that? What did he get his degree in, and why did he choose that area of study? Excellent question. Thank you very much, Kareem. I got my degree in history. And the reason was uh, I've always been interested in that as, as subject matter. And uh, it was fascinating for me. And just when I got to UCLA, it just expanded. And I had a wonderful time uh, going through UCLA. I also had a, a minor in English. So, you know, writing and, and reading history were very key things for me in, in my life. And I, I've enjoyed it my whole life. Thank you for your question. All right. Terrific. Thank you, Kareem, very much. Um, so, Kareem, let me ask you, and I'm going to ask Raymond the same thing. What do you think about this book festival? Would you recommend to people to come back next year? Well, I think this is a great book festival because it focuses on young people, getting them interested in reading and writing, uh, and just opening up the world of books to them. And I think you can't go wrong doing something like this. Uh, it's, it's very well attended and... Um, the people here know their stuff. There's so much here for, for young people and, and parents and grandparents that uh, want their kids to be motivated. So uh, I, I think this is, is, is a great event and I hope it is part and parcel of uh, what Orange County is all about. I think Kareem just gave this book festival a big high five. Absolutely. Raymond, any thoughts about the importance of this book festival? Uh, yes, I have two parts to that. First is, yes, I miss playing for the Lakers. <laughs> no one asked. Um, and second, um, I th for me personally, reading kind of saved my life, I think. Uh, all the reading I did helped me make choices and about what I was going to do, and they were always, they were good choices because of reading. It wasn't just information, but it, it gave me hope for all kinds of things and told me I could do anything I wanted and I went ahead and did it. So a festival like this, boy, I wish they'd had one when I was a kid. It would have been great. And looking around now, it's just amazing. And the fact that you're all here and bringing your children, uh, I think that makes you amazing too. So thank you for coming. Raymond, very well said. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience.
Thank you for sitting in the sun, and most importantly, thank you for coming out to listen to two individuals who are really making waves, not only in the literary world, but being thoughtful individuals for all of us here in Orange County. One big round of applause for Raymond Osfeld, and of course the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar!